Hi right, guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be discussing how to take care of your van's paintwork as best as possible. Um, this applies not just to camper vans, but it applies to basically any vehicle as long as you follow the simple process. Um, a lot of people ask me this question, how you keep your van protected and shiny, because as you can see, this is just my little collection of uh, cleaning products. And if you walk into a store that sells cleaning products, you're inundated by bottles and all sorts of fabulous, wonderful things that you don't know what they do. So I'm here just to shed a little bit of light for you, show you what I do in my routine on cleaning my van and cars, um, and yeah, just go from there. So there's a couple of stages to follow that will guarantee you a good finish. So there's preparation, you need to make sure that it's decontaminated and all the dirt is loose. Then obviously the wash itself. If you need to, you need to correct the paint to get rid of all the swirl marks and scratches, but that's a bit more in depth. If you're just trying to clean up your van a bit, you can just use some general hand polish and that'll do quite well. And then you need to protect the paintwork afterward with either a wax or some form of sealant. Lastly is process on how you wash your van after it's protected. Because if, pr protect, if you don't wash it properly, no matter what you've done, that's all going to be wasted because you'll either strip the waxes back off and then you've wasted your money on your wax because you're just removing it back off the paint. Or you'll put more scratches on the paint and just make it look worse. So I'll show you how to do it properly. Well, my way anyway from what I've been doing for years. But yeah, let's crack on with this. Right, so as you can see, there are many products, many brands, all shapes, all sizes, all colours, all scents. Um, and I'm just going to go over a few of them while I'm doing this. I'm not going to bore you with step by step as to which is which and what I use for every single job on the van. Uh, but I'm going to show you what I mainly use because I don't use everything every single time I clean, so don't get overwhelmed. So obviously, this has been sat through all the rubbish and rain we had. It did have a cover on, but some of the dirt's managed to get underneath. Um, now, this is the most dangerous part, realistically, to your paint. Um, it doesn't look that bad, actually. Maybe if I can... There we go. So, this is the most dangerous part to your paint, purely because if you start scrubbing this around, you're going to create swirl marks. And if you don't know what swirls are, if you look at the paint in certain angles, you'll see thousands of little circles. And what that is, is the grit has been picked up by the sponge and it's been rubbed around all on the paint. They can also be caused by brushes and other harsh things, but you need to protect your paint while you're washing it, as in by lifting it away from the paint, because you don't want to be rubbing that around your paint. So ideally, you need to use um, some form of pre-rinse, pre pre-wash. Uh, you can get all sorts on the market. I mean, I know a few people that get one of these sort of uh, generic sprayers, fill it up with some uh, washing up liquid and then spray that over there. Problem with washing up liquid is it will harm your paint over time and it'll make it dull. So it's ideal to get like a pH neutral uh, pre-wash or pre-rinse so that you can spray it over the paint before you wash it. I go a little extra step which obviously it costs you more because you need a few more bits and bobs of equipment to use it. I'm going to show you how I pre-wash to avoid any swirls or scratches. So you're going to want to grab yourself a big bucket for your soapy water and another bucket for some clean water. I'll show you the reason why, but while that's filling up, I'm just going to show you which soaps that I use. So if I'm starting from fresh, I'll probably use something a little bit more ag aggressive, like um, a deep cleansing wash or something like that. But if I'm just using something that I've already cleaned um, and I'm just maint maintaining that cleanness, I'll use either the Meguiar's, which is a pH neutral uh, wash which basically means it's not alkali, it's not acidic, so it's not going to damage the paint in any way Or I'll use the Autoglim body uh, shampoo and conditioner Now the difference between the two is the shampoo and conditioner doesn't foam as much It's quite, um, it is still soapy water, but it's not foam, it's not sudsy Whereas the Meguiar's tends to sud up a bit more Which is quite good because it means that it will like help stop grit damaging your paint so I prefer to use the Meguiar's and as you can see I've had this for six months and I've barely used any of it so it's quite a good value for money. So you're not going to need much at all like I said before um, it recommends four catfalls I probably use just over that or I eyeball it but um, you don't need too much just a little little bit but we'll go with the recommended amount and see what we get from it. I probably use just over what they say to be quite honest but it is quite thick, it's more like a gel than a, a liquid. Now we're going to get that filled up with the hose pipe. Let that get bubbly 
and then after that's done I'm going to pre-rinse the van and I'll show you how to do that. The reason I'm getting this ready is because once the pre-rinse is on there you don't want to be faffing about thinking oh, I've got to get all my stuff together, you want that to be all ready for you just nice and easy. So let's get that done. Are you not work? I think you turned it off. Now, you see, what, what this is, I'm putting water in the bucket, and that will then fill up the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that in, you know that, didn't you? Yeah. That's fine. Okay, is that all that you're going to give? So when I'm pre-rinsing, or pre-washing, sorry, I tend to use a snow foam lance. Now you can get these pretty cheap to be fair off the net, they're not the like, most expensive thing. Obviously you're going to need to get yourself a jet wash that is cartridge compatible because that's the sort of twist and lock connector on the end of it. Um, and you'll need some snow foam liquid, which usually you probably put, I don't know, 100ml of liquid and then, I don't know, five, up to 500ml of water, maybe 600ml of water if you've got a bigger car to do. But that has lasted me quite a long time as well, and that does not cost the earth. And there's many brands, and all the snow foams pretty much do the same thing. But ProClean sent me this, so I'm pretty happy with it, it's quite good. I'm just going to mix up some snow foam, put it in the bottle, and then we'll spray it over the van, and I'll show you what to do. There's many, many, many videos on how to snow foam, so I'm not really going to cover how to, just showing you the fact that I do it instead, rather than a tutorial. So now we're pre-rinsed, uh, it's time to get on washing it. Um, it's a pretty simple technique to be fair, and a lot of people already know about this, but I'm just going to go over it and mention it really quickly. Um, obviously you've got your bucket of suds, soapy water, and a clean bucket of water. Um, no, no soap in there at all. You want to go into your bucket for some soap, onto your panel. Do a bit of a panel, go into your clean water to get rid of any grit and dirt on that and then go back in for some more soap. That's so that you don't get any grit onto your paint and you're not going to keep rubbing it all over the van because you're just going to mess up your paint. Obviously, a big van takes a long time to clean, so I've got two helpers. They're going to help you get, get the job done a lot quicker. Um, as you can see, nice and soapy, so we're not going to be rubbing the grit into the paint. It will just glide across there if there is any under there. But I'm going to let these carry on and I'm going to jump on the other side so we can get it done quicker. Now that's all washed down and most of the dirt is loose, while it's still wet I just want to get the jet wash out and then just spray it all off to get most of the dirt off the paint. Then we're going to carry on prepping it. But yeah, just rinse it off, get as much of the suds off as you can so they don't dry on. See a day like today, even though it's not really cold and it's not hot, it's ideal because you don't want to be doing this in direct sunlight, it'll dry too quick and you're never going to get any good results. If it is a hot day, move the car into the shade and let it cool down a bit before you start working or even rinse it down to let it cool down a bit because it will just dry too quick and you'll get smears of streaks everywhere. Now you've got your van all nice and shiny, or what you think is shiny because it looks clean. I want you to go and grab a clay bar. Now clay bars are pretty like easily available now. Maguire's do one, Auto Finesse do one, loads of stuff. I use Auto Finesse just because I really like their products. Um, but what you think is clean uh, there is still surface contaminants on there that will show up. So I've done a whole other video uh, with a friend of mine on how to sort of detail a car and how to do things properly and how to use clay bars. So I'm not really going to go over this in too much uh, because I'll just put a link to that if you want to see how to use the product properly. It is a very time consuming process because you have to do a tiny little bit at a time. Um, and people will try and sell you these clay lubes which are basically like scented water because as long as you've got water or 
soapy water at least on the panel. It's all you need basically. But this isn't like a, um, a brake, well it is kind of like a mild abrasive. So any contaminants that are on the surface, it'll lift off the surface and get you with a squeaky clean panel. So yeah, you can't really see it. Like I said, there won't be much on this because it's only 12 months old. If my camera will focus, you should be able to see that it's starting to go a little bit darker. But yeah, that's what it's doing. It's just lifting that back out of the paint. So now it's all clay barred. Um, what I want to do is take all the moisture off the paint. I love these auto finesse towels and this isn't an advertisement for auto finesse. I'm not in no way sponsored. I just really like their products. But this towel is nice and soft and if you buy one of these you'll feel how soft it is, it's lovely. But it's a great water trap so it's not going to allow any of the moisture to stay on the paint. And P.S. If Auto Finesse wants to sponsor us, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> right, so next stage is to obviously protect the paint. I've skipped the correction stage uh, because this van doesn't need correcting because like I said the paint's only 12 months old. Um, if you want to bring up the paints as much as possible, it'd be good to get a compound polish. Now, a lot of people think that like um, super resin polish is a compound polish. It's not. It's just like a more of a glaze than anything. It is polish, but I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to work as well as most do. Um, if you want to add a bit more of a shine to it, get something like a Meguiar's Ultimate Compound or Triple uh, from Water Finesse, or there's another one. If you use those sort of things, you'll get the, the paint up properly. Like I said, there's another video on how I did it by uh, how we do it by machine polishing, uh, but you can do it by hand. It just takes a lot longer. But this is the protection st protection stage where we're going to apply a wax layer on top of the paint to make sure that the water can't stick to the paint. So it's going to give it an extra layer of protection. I mean, it's not really rust prevention, but in my eyes, if you can keep water from sitting on the paint, then it's going to be a protection. So there are multiple types of waxes. Uh, the one we're using is a paste wax. If I can just borrow that. This is Auto, Finesse, Auto Finesse's Illusion Wax, which has a gorgeous cherry scent to it, and it's quite high in Carnuba, so it's not the cheapest wax on the market, it is quite pricey, but if we use it on special occasions and special vehicles, so if you want to keep your van looking shiny, um, it gives like a, a wet look to the finish of the paint. So obviously just apply it first, and it does take a cure time of about 15 to 20 minutes. If you are doing it in the sun, be very careful because you can over cure wax and then it'll be incredibly hard to get back off. Um, but it is quite easy to learn once you've done it a few times. It's not something that's too difficult. So while that's been waxed, um, I thought I'd show you how I clean the wheels. Um, the wheels are obviously still dirty. They're built up with brake dust and things like that. Uh, I'm gonna introduce you to a product called Iron Out, which once again is another auto finesse product. I think the equivalent to this is called Magma by um, Auto Glim. But I'm not really sure, I'm pretty sure that is. I'm not sure if Meguiar's do one, but it's a deionizer. So, what it does is any iron fragments it breaks down and turns them into this cool purple liquid that you can then just wipe off. When I spray this on, you'll see what starts to happen. So, if you just wait a second, you can already see it's starting to bleed through purple, it will start to get darker. Uh, but what that is, is this chemical reacts to iron fragments to lift them off the surface. Can you see the wheels starting to go purple? Obviously these wheels are kept quite clean, so they're not too bad. But if you do this on a normal road car that's driven everywhere, this will go bright pink, the whole wheel will. But you can already see look how pink the wheel is starting to go. And it's removing them contaminants. This is good on chromes, paints, polishes, everything. It, it's not going to affect the actual uh, paint on the wheel itself. So you're not gonna get a damage from using this product. I'm gonna give this a little wipe off now, just with some remainer, remainder of the soapy water. Um, obviously this will be washed anyway. I would never do a wheel then wash body. I'd do it out afterward. Um, but as you can see, one wipe, how clean it comes up. Just gonna give this a little bit of a rinse. And as you can see, that brings the wheels up absolutely beautiful. You can just see there's a slight haze, so that's the wax on there. What you want to do is get your microfiber cloth, um, fold it into quarters, and then you want to just gradually buff it off, working a little section at a time. 
and then keep turning your cloth regularly so you're not going to smear more wax back onto the car because then you'll be buffing all day long right so with that all done it's absolutely amazing how it looks and trust me if you follow these little steps step by step and use the right products you can get a van to look absolutely immense even not even just a van a car as long as you take care of it and you take your time with it you can get looking brilliant and anyway, i'm going to throw in some shots Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it's always enjoyable for me to wash a car and I'm glad that I had some help with it because this took a lot longer. It would have took a lot longer on my own. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it gives you some sort of clarity into what certain products do if you didn't know what they did. If you did anyway, then I hope you just enjoyed watching a cleaning video. Maybe you found it satisfying in ours. Anyway, drop a comment down below because I always love to hear what you guys are saying. Uh, because it's always awesome to hear from my subscribers and hear their projects too. If you could hit like on this video if you enjoyed it, that would be a massive help because it helps me know that you enjoy my videos. And click subscribe below to support the channel. Right guys, so I'm just going to get all my stuff packed up and then I'm going to uh, have a look on my phone and announce the winners of the competition. Hi guys, welcome back. So thank you very much for staying till the end of the video. Um, I know you can't see me, but this is all you really need to see. So um, I'm going to use this YouTube comment picker to randomly select the winners for the competition. So I'm just going to enter the URL and then click get YouTube comments. There's 35 individual commenters. Um, it is uh, filtering duplicates, so if you've entered more than once, you will only be entered once. Thank you very much for all the support that you guys have given me over the past 12 months. Um, and I, I'd never, like I said in the previous video, I never thought that we'd get to this stage. So thank you all very much for clicking subscribe. But yeah, it's about time that we did this, so let's see who's going to win. Who's going to be our first winner? Susan! Right, well done. Uh, so it says auto finesse or longboard, so you're not bothered with which one. And see you at Camper Jam. Yeah, I'll be there. So if you are there, by all means, I can either post it to you or you can collect it in person, whichever you prefer. Um, if you message me on Instagram at the end of this... I'll see which one you're going to win because <laughs> it's kind of a loose thing at the moment. Uh, I don't know which one you're going to win because you're, you're not bothered about either. Right, so that's one of our winners. Let's pick another winner and see who wins next. Right, are we ready? Who's going to be the f next winner? Let's find out. Stuart French, longboard please now. At 36, I quite fancy breaking my back on this bad boy. <laughs> well, like I said in the comment, I, I do hope you don't. Uh, but by all means, I hope you enjoy uh, the longboard. Um, drop me a message on Instagram. Uh, probably the best thing, to, to be honest, for both of you to message me on Instagram because then I can message you about like details and shipping things. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. I hope you're happy with that. I'm sorry I can't be giving everything, everyone something, uh, but I will be doing more giveaways in the future. So do stay tuned because it will be something that I'll always be doing uh, here and there. But yeah, thank you very much for the continued uh, support, guys. And I hope you take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.